Hey, Nico. What's up, Mallory? Roman hasn't spoken to you about anything, has he? Nothing about maybe asking me to marry him? I haven't heard anything, but I'm sure it would be a really good thing for both of you. Thanks. And hey, Roman and I decided to be honest with each other last night. He told me about Vlad. He did? Yeah. Thanks for helping him get rid of the body. He has such fire in his heart. I guess when he found out about me and Vlad, he couldn't help himself. His love for me took over and he just had to kill him. That's exactly right. He's an old school romantic. See you soon, Mal. Hey guys, how are you? I record for you continues this game. I am here to save you. I'm here to see Mr. Gavelli. I was sent by a mutual friend. Come on. Uh, someone here to see you. Uh, yeah. uh, so you're the one who's getting involved with that nonsense for my dear friend, James Pendorino. I don't know what Spare you're... Spare me, please. I'm an old man. I ain't got much time left. Our mutual friend told me everything. Thank you. It made me laugh. <laughs> My pleasure. <laughs> people are so damn vain. Some people? <clears throat> All people. Even you, even me, an old man facing the end. And I still care. Care how I look. Care that when I shit myself, the pretty nurse has to clean it up. It's, it's ridiculous. Yeah, well, uh, you know. And I care about my legacy. 
I've worked hard for this, this line of work. Now some Russian assholes think they can march in and take control of rackets my family has run for 50 years! <laughs> you mean 50 years of you bleeding the city dry might finally <laughs> come to an end? <laughs> I know, it's a terrible <laughs> tragedy. <laughs> but if it wasn't me, it would just be someone else. So it might as well be me. Yes. Let me tell you, that faggot friend of yours, Bernie Crane, his boyfriend, he's being blackmailed by them damn Russians. They want him to put certain contracts up for tender. Windows, bus lines, cleaning, ones we control. These Russian fucking bastards are trying to finish us. What do you want me to do about it? I want you to work with me. In exchange for what? The police have a file on you an inch thick in exchange for that. In exchange for that guy you've been asking about being brought here from wherever it is he's hiding, Switzerland or some shit. <sighs> okay, good. What do you want me to do? A good friend of mine is coming into town to give a speech on the new threat to Liberty City, Russian organized crime. I got a feeling some people ain't gonna want that speech to happen. Maybe the guy you love, this Dmitry Raskolov, has an interest in keeping this story out of the press. Make sure our boy gets to City Hall. <coughs> He's coming in from upstate. He'll be at Grand Eastern Terminal on Bismarck. Waiting for me? Nico Bellic, right? Yeah, that's me. Stay convoy with us all the way to City Hall. All right? Sure.
good. It's a car. John, how are you? Of course. Well, I'm coming to see you as soon as I've delivered the speech. Go quickly. Don't say that, John. You'll be feeling like a teenager again in no time. Those are the wonders of modern medicine. Well, I'm going to bring up everything we discussed. When I'm done at the podium, Mayor Ochoa is going to be dedicating half his annual budget to cleaning this problem up. <laughs> he doesn't want to start getting reckless with the lives of Liberty City voters. No, John, if it's your problem, it's my problem as well. Take a deep breath, John. That's it. Driver, why is this road closed? Is there a problem? Another roadblock? This definitely wasn't mentioned on the traffic report. I'm going to go and move the barriers. Open fire. Come on, Mr. Jefferson. Let's get out of here. get us to the Civic Citadel. That was a mistake they didn't no, want to make. If you're going to try to take out a politician, you better take him out for sure. Thanks for the advice. American gangsters like John Bravelli understand the way life works. They get the limits of their power. In Europe, the politicians are as crooked as a gangster. They don't understand that things are different. It looks like these men really want you dead, Mr. Jefferson.
You are as clean as the driven snow. How it's cultural difference to one of these Russian gangsters if a bad us. I don't know who you are, but you got me here. Goes to show, some immigrants have the best interest of the country in their hearts. I'll tell John you did well. Mission complete. Yeah, safe progress, save and content, one second. Mr. Brovelli, I took that friend of yours to City Hall. He should be giving a speech any minute. Yeah, yeah, good. Heard you had some trouble along the way. You can always rely on those Russians to try something. How are we supposed to compete with these immigrant criminals when they want it so bad? You're working with me, aren't you, Mr. Brovelli? See you later. Okay guys, this part is finished, like, subscribe, comment, good luck bro, bye bye, I record for your content in this game, bye.